This is the Cholo News Report for Tuesday 12, March, 2019. President Peter M. Christian is defeated for re-election to his at-large seat in Congress by David Panuolo. Correction. In an earlier version of this story, we mistakenly identified David Panuolo as the Speaker of FSM Congress. For Chayuk Election District 1, representing the Mortlock Islands, the incumbent Florencio S. Harper ran unopposed. He received 2,727 votes. Uzbek Syrian forces resume their offensive on the final enclave, controlled by ISIL in Syria at Baghuz. Flares are seen in the sky during fighting in the Islamic State's final enclave, in the village of Baghuz, Deir al Zor province, Syria, March 11, 2019. The defeat of Islamic State at Baghuz will mark a milestone in the campaign against the jihadist group ending its control of populated territory in the area straddling Iraq and Syria where it suddenly expanded in 2014, and declared a caliphate. Prozirian government forces hold the opposite bank of the Euphrates across from Baghuz, and Iraqi militias are stationed at the border, cutting off any easy escape route for the jihadists. While Baghuz represents the last shred of populated land, held by the Islamic State of Iraq, and the Levant's fighters, the armed group is still widely seen as a big security threat with remote territory elsewhere, and the continued capacity to launch attacks. The SDF have been poised to advance into the enclave for weeks, but have repeatedly held back to allow for the evacuation of civilians, many of them wives and children of ISIL fighters. The Turkish economy enters a recession for the first time since 2009 after the currency and debt crisis of 2018. A trade war with the United States sparked a steep fall in Turkey's currency, making imports far more expensive. That prompted the central bank to raise interest rates, making borrowing more expensive. Shares of Boeing lose roughly 9% after one of its best-selling planes, the Boeing 737 MAX jet, saw its second deadly crash in less than five months. I think it's kind of questionable whether folks say, okay, is this a liquidity event that now you revisit, or do I want to stay on the sidelines here as we wait for more information, which we're destined to get in the coming days and weeks? Boris Schlossberg of BK Asset Management says the ISM non-manufacturing report is key to watch, ahead the jobs data released Friday. Chad Morgan Lander of Washington Crossing Advisors is watching the dollar this week, and expects it'll begin to strengthen heading into the second half of the year. China and Indonesia ground 7,378 MAX aircraft across their nations in response to the Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 and Lion Air Flight 610 disastrous airlines, elsewhere including Ethiopian Airlines voluntarily ground their own 737. MAX jets. The announcement came after China and Indonesia grounded all of their fleets citing safety concerns, contributing to a drop in Boeing Co shares that wiped billions of dollars off the market value of the world's biggest plane maker.